What's up, y'all? JSB the Creator, and I'm back again with a new video today for y'all. Today's video, we're gonna be customizing a G Shock, specifically the classic DW6900 G Shock model. All right, all you need for this is a little tiny little screwdriver. We're gonna break apart the watch, and I'm gonna go down how I went ahead and customized this bad boy. So, first things first, we gotta strip this watch down naked. We gotta take off all this clothes. So, we're gonna start off by removing all the little tiny screws that connect the protective face onto the actual like watch, I guess. To remove the protective bezel off the watch, there's four screws on the back that you have to take off. There's two near each of the straps, two at the top, two at the bottom. Once you take those off, basically, you can remove the face of the bezel. So basically once I remove the bezel, it's time to remove the straps. So the straps are connected with this little clamps, little tool uh, in between. Basically just push down on one side, it'll loosen up the clamps and it'll release the straps from the bezel of the watch. Once I knock that out the way, it's time to get to the guts of the watch itself. So I'm gonna take out the basically the battery, face, everything. This is basically the motherboard of the watch. This is where all the time happens, all that mechanical nonsense. Ah, I'm a G-Shock, look at me. But basically what I really wanna to get to though is that face, because I really need to customize that face. So just remove all the little pieces and voila, I got to the face, because I am going to customize this piece right here. So now that I've taken basically everything apart, I try to keep all the pieces that belong together together. Um, the four screws, I try to keep them together. The other screws for the face, I try to keep everything separated so that way I know which pieces are connected first when it's time to put the watch back together. All right, so right now I'm just gonna clean up some of the dirt off the watch because this is a used watch. So I'm gonna clean up the straps, clean up the face and get everything ready to get customized. Another part that needs to get removed is the iconic G button that you click and lights up the watch and everything. To remove it, you gotta remove this tiny little hook piece that is like this. Do not lose that, I repeat, do not lose that. After that, you can pull the button out, remove the spring, and bam, you have your G button that's ready to get customized. So I'm gonna acetone down the straps, the watch, everything that needs to get painted on. I'm also spray it with some adhesive glue to allow for more sticking. Next up, I'm gonna hit the bezel with some pink champagne color shift. All it needs is a black base coat, which the watch is already black. So hit it with two or three coats and you'll be good. Now I'm gonna take some of this gold chrome spray and I'm gonna hit the G button as well as the face. Me personally, to get more stabilization, I push the G button into the lid of a shoe box so that way it holds it still so I got 360 views. But the face, I just threw that bad boy down and just started spraying on it. After adding enough coats that I wanted onto the face and the button, I'm just gonna throw on some paint splatter onto both. Nothing complex here, just typical regular paint splatter techniques. Next up, I'm going to paint the G on the G button. As you can see, these beautiful hands are not my own, but they are my girlfriend's. Y'all check out her nail page, she kills it. And as you can see, it's nothing too complicated. Just basically trace around the G button that's already imprinted and you good. Once you finish painting the face and the button, I'm gonna hit them with a clear Krylon protective gloss finisher. Just like one or two coats and you straight. Now that I've painted everything in the face, I am ready to put the entire face back together again, bezel and all. Start off with the face I just painted. Then I'm gonna re-add that G button. You need to put the spring back onto the back right before you place it into the hole, as well as that tiny little piece I said do not lose. That's what keeps the button from moving side to side and wiggling around. Now basically you're just going to be adding back the pieces in the corresponding order of which you took them off. I don't know what most of these pieces are called, but just put them back where they belong in the order you took them off and you're going to be good. Once you put everything in the face back together again, it's time to put the back casing on. Take your little four screws and screw them back into the back. Once that's done, you add the bezel case back onto the face and then screw that back into place. But before I put the straps back on, I'm gonna add this little paint splatter effect and the watch will be completed. Mm -hmm. 
And bam, my very own custom made G-Shock. I didn't want to go too crazy with too many complicated designs. I wanted to try and keep it simple as far as, you know, paintings concerned. But I think it came out pretty fire, man. This is a perfect little art piece to flash around. It's not too, too, too flashy. It, it pops. It's something, you know, unique. So I'm definitely going to be doing more G-Shocks. I'm going to offer this service. You know what I mean? But I'm definitely going to be doing some crazy creations with the DW6900. But hopefully you guys learned something from it. And as I usually say, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace. Let me know if you, you, you try to take apart your G-Shock and if it worked out in your favor or if you messed up or whatever the case may be. I, th I think it's a fun little thing to do if you like uh, art and playing around with what you wear. So, yeah. Until next time, guys. I'm out of here. Bye. Bye.